Discover Magazine has named Jay Keesling, a professor of chemical engineering and bioengineering at the University of California, Berkeley, its scientist of the year. The award was given in recognition of Keesling's pioneering work in synthetic biology, a field that he describes as putting engineering to biology. The implications down the road are significant. We'll be able to engineer microbes that will produce any molecule that we want, for instance, new uh, drugs to fight disease. Uh, many of the drugs that are currently available are taken from plants and they are available in very minute quantities. We'll be able to produce these in microbes and also produce variants of them, which will allow us to produce drugs very inexpensively. Kiesling is already working on a way to mass produce the anti-malarial drug artemisinin, which is currently obtained in small quantities from the wormwood plant. One of the biggest roadblocks in getting artemisinin widely distributed is cost. It's an expensive undertaking for pharmaceutical companies to extract molecules in the wormwood plant and purify it to create artemisinin. That's why Kiesling's research is critical. The technique developed in this lab will produce artemisinin efficiently and economically. My laboratory is working on producing artemisinin, a cure for malaria inside microbes. Currently the drug is obtained from Artemisia annua or wormwood, but it's produced in very small quantities and isn't grown widely throughout the world. So there is really a need for less expensive, more widely available artemisinin. By producing it in microbes, we can produce it much less expensively and also control where it's being used, which is an important aspect so that it's not overused and abused. Synthetic biology plays an incredibly important role in the development of this microbe that will produce artemisinin. For Science Today, I'm Larissa Brannan.